I dream of Gucci and Louis Vuitton Eating tons of food and golfing for fun Expensive shades to block out the sun Glittery nails, long ponytails Can't worry about sales, I got it I'm poor, I'ma change his life I'ma change his life I'ma change his life I'ma change his life Might become his wife Might become his wife, yeah I'm a whole wife I'm a whole wife First cousin. Okay. <laughs> 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 On my left, I have Mr. and Mrs. West slash West. <laughs> <laughs> and then I have Keys, who will be accompanied by her, her husband Hardy through video. So for the elephant in the room, my husband was on his way, but he did have some car trouble, and he still wants to be a part of this scene, so we're going to just, you know, where there's a will, there's a way, and we're going to make it. Absolutely. <laughs> um, so, of course, we got to start off with the Wets. West. <laughs> first, first and foremost, the last name is West. What is, is wet with two T's? It's two T's, for sure. <laughs> it ain't wet if it ain't two T's. What do they talk about in y'all crazy little lifestyle? So, okay, yeah, you answer it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, uh, I, I was a basketball fan younger, you know. I, that was my first love, you know, playing basketball. And uh, around this time, you know, I, I would shoot a jump if it hit. You know, I would say wet, you know, and uh, just that uh, – that name just kind of stuck with me. It was given to me uh, by a couple of dudes that you know I used to run with. One of my younger days, and you just can't run around saying your whole name out, you know, when you're doing certain things <laughs> that you ain't getting no business. So now my last name being West, you know, and my, being a big basketball fan, people kind of tied that in. So you know, we kind of dropped the S, just added the T, and it just stuck with me. So that's where that's where the name so really ran with. Yeah, wet, you know. And then it just it rubbed into some other my 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 homeboys that, that I used to deal with that gave me the name. Like, um I would we would go out. My personality, whatever it was at the time, I used to have long dreads, I used to get a lot of attention from that. I used to attract, you know, certain people, females, you know, whatever. And me, it, it would be, you know, me dealing with that same person, but she might have several friends that's around her. It's the same that, way. <laughs> that introduce <laughs> the male with one of her friends, you know. So each guy that would come with me, they would be what you call successful for the night, you know, when dealing, <laughs> when dealing with a girl, you know. So that, that also tied into, you know, when they was already calling me wet. So the dude was running around, man, I was a wet last night, man. He got me wet, you know. <laughs> you know, so it's, it just, you know, this is going on 20 years now, you know, and that the name is just stuck with me. It sounded so. a little like Pimpin', but I'm going to say that. But I definitely wanted to get into it because thank you for sharing that backstory. Mm -hmm. Because, you know, you and Tanisha are very, you know, who y'all are. And you, you know, try to hide it. So we kind of wondered where the wet came from mm -hmm. because you know we see y'all in the strip clubs together. Matter of fact, do we have the clip of the uh, Lord uh, in the strip club together? We can get that. One hundred. One hundred. Yeah, we getting money. Yeah, we getting money. Yeah. We do this. Ha. ha. Check me on my. Steez like that. Got bees like that. I mean, and he'll tell you he'll prefer to go with me rather than a group of guys because you just have more fun together. Drip like a fountain, yeah. Say ounces like a bottom bouncing. If you ain't got no money, you can get that from around me, y'all. Sauce like that, crispy with the fade, my Guala gang, talk of the town, we the wave, my Oh, I'm a whole wife, yeah. <laughs> 
And you made the statement in the clip, like he actually prefers to go with you. So he asked you, vice versa, his homeboys? Mm-hmm. <laughs> so how, <laughs> how, how is it? Because, like, I mean, how does these conversations go, baby? You all slide by. You know, <laughs> house tonight. I mean, what's going on? Well, it's, okay, let me say this. Because we was going to the strip club like before it became cool. Like now it's like the thing to do. We're going out, we're going to the strip club. That's what people do. They have money wars and they get cute. Even the females, they go to the strip club. Like so now we don't even really care to go because it's not, you know what I mean? It's just not a vibe. Yeah, okay. But we were going like years ago and where it stemmed from is we didn't really care to go out to the major parties and all of that. So if we wanted to go have a drink or just do something, we li- I don't even know if people will remember like, uh, uh, what was it? Classy Lady on 7th Street. Like we was cool with the owner, Reno, shout out to her and her husband and her son. Like we were cool with them. So we would just go just to have a drink and her music and it just so happened to be dancers there. Even though it was a strip club. But I'm just saying that to say like that's where it stemmed from. And I mean that like we, we just cool with female entertainers. We don't even really look at them like strippers and we just, I don't know like, I, mean, I so prefer to do that rather than go in the club and kind of just stand there and watch everybody just watch each other. I don't know. So, when, like, how does that, you know, as a guy to bring a wife, I'm like, go with me, you know, like. <laughs> See, like, like she said, I, we used to, I, you know, we, I, me and Reno was real cool, and she owned Classy Lady, and we actually, and I'm just bringing up this time because these were some of the first days that Tanisha, you know, ever, you know, come in the strip club, you know, her and her daddy, you know, for those that don't know her daddy, shout out to dad. Uh, he, uh, they real tight, you know, and he still got his ear low to the ground, you know, so uh, years ago when we first met, you know, she's 22, something like that. So, she, you know, she wasn't just, strip clubs wasn't normal back then without telling her age, you know, uh, but, <clears throat> He he might be in the club one night, so <laughs> it would be it would be times you know that you know I would, might have to go in the strip club, make sure you know it ain't nobody you know, we know or something like that. Then like, come on, baby, we good, you know, let's go in. But it definitely stemmed from you know we had our first shirt, you know, of Louisville, man. Like I said, I love my city. Shout out to Louisville, love but. You. Uh, everybody kind of knows each other and you know we was kind of moving a little fast in our younger days and got burnt out on the actual club scene and like I said the first day she was going to the strip club was classy lady we literally at the time lived maybe 15 houses from the club so you know yeah and even then you know this is a while ago we just we wasn't I ain't want, well, I don't want to be around no more than 70, 75 people. You know what I'm saying? That was just where my man, uh, mentality was at that time, and we was cool with that. And they would go down. We loved music. They would play the music we loved. You know, Reno, we was cool, cool with her. And uh, then we ended up knowing some of the dancers that was around and, and stuff like that. And just built relationships like that. And they just, we still do that to, that, to this day. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. we just saw it. <laughs> uh, Tanisha looked a little more invested than you. She was kind of bothered to the music. She was kind of, and, you know. Because dancers know us. So when they see us, they, they, they speak to us both. But it's more like, I've connected with these women. That's why I say I don't really call them strippers. Because they have a job just like everybody else. That's what they do. They're, they're uh, female entertainers. So I, I guess they, they look at me like I'm, I respect them a little more. And we just kind of bond. Okay. I guess that's what I would call it because uh, they do. They come up and they're like, hey, and we just start talking. And we forget that they even strip us. And then at some point, I'm like, wait, let me tip her. Damn, I forgot I'm in a strip club, you know? So it's. That's what happened at this point. Exactly. Okay. <laughs> and is that how you and Keys became friends? Because Keys is an uh, entertainer as well. Like, do you mm-hmm. know before that? We, we knew each other. Well, we, we kind of just became friends from social media. Okay. And so how is it if y'all at the club, because I know people go and support, I've even, me and my cousin even went and supported Keys. <laughs> <laughs> Just uh, off the bat, like, well, let me see what she do. I don't know. Let me see what she But how is it, you know, if you're going to see Keys and you're with your husband, like y'all just still just having a good time and just, is it, does it feel different? I feel weird. Mm-mm, absolutely not. He probably won't tip just because of, he's just not going to cross that line because him and Hardy's cool. Okay. So um, if anything, he's going to be like, y'all cool? Do you need anything? You need something to drink? And then I'll probably tip or I'm going to be like, what you doing? You need 
we need to go to the bathroom, we need to fix our makeup. It's it's like that. So it's it's definitely more of a friendship. Than <laughs> and how are you in those situations where your friends and their husband or guys come? You just still do what you That's got? most of my customers <laughs> are my friends and my friends and their husbands or boyfriends and stuff like. I mean, it's mutual. It's nothing. Uh, I ain't been dancing for a long time. Yeah. Um, and a lot of people don't know she's a nurse as yeah, well. So, <laughs> so I um, literally just started dancing like right before the pandemic. Um, they had a little amateur night, and I it was a joke. I said I was going to do it, and like my friends came like to my house six cars deep. I'm like I'm not going. I was just kidding. They was packing my bag like bitch, we're going. Yeah. So I went and did it, and I made bands. Let's just say on one night. So I was like, hey, it ain't like you can get naked. It's, you gotta be in a swimsuit, like mm -hmm. so. It ain't like I'm taking my clothes yeah. off like that. So. Hey, I, I, I think we got some footage of Key. She dances, and you do have OnlyFans mm -hmm. as well. If we can get that footage of <laughs> Keys for a little entertainment, and we ain't gonna throw no money right here. I'm gonna take it. He was right there. Yeah, yeah, he was there that night. I actually was out with them that night. Um, but a lot of people, like on the comments, was like, "Ooh, that was close." Right. And then we kind of ended the season off like, "Did she take the bait?" So, like, how is your husband with that? Because y'all kind of hugged, and was it whispering in the air because the music was loud? Or? Yeah, definitely. I mean, it was innocent, but um, I mean, I was getting drinks for everybody mm -hmm. for, from me. So, I mean, I'm doing what I do at the club. <laughs> so, get to pay for the drinks. Uh, he was just talking. He was like, what y'all doing with the boob? We was out there dancing, having a good time. He was like, can I get you some drinks with the boob? I'm like, okay, yeah, boom. Hey, yeah, yeah, you can get us. I mean, we had to talk a bit close like that, but I was like, thank you. <laughs> And I'm gonna talk to Hardy via video to, to get his perspective. But do you ever get any like backlash from your husband? Like you doing Never. too much? Really? Never. Like uh, me. Um, like, I would wake up, like I said, all the time uh, and be like, why did you post me with that on? Oh, my gosh. Yeah, like, you, everybody knows I'm shy. So I'm just now breaking out of his shell, and it's only because of him. Like, he will get so much, like, your wife is this and this. Y'all need to be doing this. I used to model a long time ago, but not nude, maybe a little tattoo stuff. But, like, he started the whole put me on Instagram, showing me, like, you got it. You need to do it. Come on, and let's get us money. So why not? We have to put up with King fans is a little more sexier only thing is I just it's just me and it's just kind of you know what the fellas want we don't do routines <laughs> it's a TikTok, but um y'all just got to subscribe y'all gotta subscribe I'm telling you uh keys to the city um shit but I don't even know what to say about it because let me tell you this Everybody's wanting more and more, and I said after this, mm, I can't even say it. Exit that part, but after I was just after this part. But I just said I'm about to put some of this explicit shit on here. Everybody's requesting me and my husband on this OnlyFans, so it might turn out to be a porn page. <laughs> if y'all want to see, check in. Oh, I'm a whole wife. Yeah. <laughs> All right, moving on to the gills. Man, how was y'all like, are y'all in the strip clubs? Like, what's going on? <laughs> <laughs> No, like we've been to strip clubs together, but no, it she ain't not. She gets all the action. I don't. Yeah. Know she gets all the action. <laughs> they do tend to come to the women board. Yeah. They do. Yeah. With our money too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, what are some things you all been for excited about the strip club or going out and things like that? Nah, we just hey, we foodies. Like we like to eat, <laughs> and that's one thing we do. Like we always try something different. Always go somewhere different. So that's our thing. Now, like, did you see the episode of the pole dancing? Yes, I did. Um, what was your thoughts? <laughs> for those that was there, uh, Rebecca had some little tricks up her sleeve that we didn't know about because we could just buy from her and some kind and pay your dues, but she, she was going to 
Come on. What was your thoughts when you saw them? So we're actually in the process of getting the house built. And there, there will be a pole in the basement. That's right, Mike. <laughs> It all stays inside now. Yeah. Now, where did you learn these skills? Are we on Pornhub? Like, what are we doing? Pornhub! Hey! They're talented too, but... No, I've always been into, like, dancing and stuff. I said in my past life, I was a stripper, so, you know. It just didn't follow this life. Over yeah, it just didn't. Yeah. And we have the clip of her. No, we don't have Okay, I have never tried dancing in my life. Only when I'm at home with husband. Hey. We don't have to see what getting old. Do that sex and we have of a swing rate. So there's two definitions. There's one where there's one where you all um, have outside people but it's in the same location. And then there's one that's similar to an open relationship where you all mess with other people but you're Absolutely no, not. No, see, First, let me say this no, before he gets to telling his story because no, he'll no, talk no. for a long time. <laughs> I just want to say, uh, well, I didn't know all the definitions and all that. I just think swingers and, and one is insulting. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? I just feel like we're open minded people. Our birthday's the same day. Um, we're not exactly the same, but we balance well. And we're just open-minded. We don't judge. And I just think it's pretty insulting to think because we go to the strip club together. Um, because when we're in the strip club, we're best friends. Well, we're best friends every day. But especially in the strip club. But then it's like that marriage code that we just don't break. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? And I just think it's insulting to think because we like a certain entertainment that we have to be doing certain things in our bedroom. I think that that's quite insulting. But... No, we don't swing off this side. Open that. I got to say something. No, nah, because cause I, I mean, you know, I, this ain't the first time I heard that. I just, first of all, I just want to mama, uh, children. <laughs> y'all, I'm sorry that y'all got this kind of question, but you know. Uh, That's why it, I said it, it's a quite A few insulting. people done, I didn't heard this. So uh, anyway, like, I, I think the, the first thing is like, I post, my, I post my wife a lot, you know what I'm saying? And I post her to where you might you might see some skin, you know. And I guess people take that as uh, some sort of, you know, what is he you doing? He's showing his wife, she might be tooted all over, uh, you know, you might see <laughs> with some short shorts on. But you know, I, I just look at it like, you know, and this is just us, you know, it's my wife. And I'm, I, I won't, I don't, when she looks good, I want people to see it. You know what I'm saying? I want people to see it. I know that, I know that she, you know, you know, life's short, you know, and time flies, you know. And you only got a certain amount of time to show what you get. You know what I'm saying? And, and it is, it's, it's still done respectfully, because like I said, we got four children, you know, who's looking right at us, you know what I'm saying? So when we do hear these kind of things, it is a little bit like, man, where they come from, you know? But, you know, also, you know, 
I, I don't only post my wife. It's been over the years of 10 years of being on Instagram. You know, I might share certain memes. Or I might post somebody that is nice looking. For instance, uh, Bernice Burgos. Uh, uh, Waka Flocka's wife, Tammy, is one of my favorites. You know, I post her. So, I mean, with that, you know, it ain't like that that Tanisha's hating on me posting them. You know, she might agree that, you know, she is nice looking. Uh, you know, she might be right under my comment where I done left a comment or something like that. <laughs> and people, and people, Louisville, and this is just, you know, example of Louisville and why, you know, we want to tell, you know, how we view our city, you know. And in Louisville, you know, stuff spreads around just like this question right here, fast, you know. Uh, all you uh, uh, hundreds of people, all it's all they gotta know for it to spread through the the business through the end of the day. You know what I'm saying? For everybody in the city to have got wind of it, and you know um, we do have kids, you know, and people, you know, that love us and that watch us, and we heard this, but that's the only thing I can think of where it comes from because we we have not done threesomes. We de definitely ain't did nothing with no man. You know, you know what I'm saying? At all. And, and, and like I said, no, that's that's in no disrespect. But we, you know, these are the things that we've heard. That I was like, man, what are they just taking this social media? You know, just like it. And that's that's all I can think. I'm sure you can go back to. I know I, you know, I'm a history freak. I look at my uh, grandmother's pictures when she was young and stuff. Uh, her mother's <laughs> pictures when she was young and stuff. And I guarantee, if y'all look at y'all people's pictures and stuff, y'all will get on there and see them in their young 20s, young 30s, two that all old for doing the same little thing that, that y'all see right now, you know what I'm saying? So that's that's what I do, you know, as long as my old lady's looking like how she's doing, you know, I'm and I like what I see, I'm posting it off and I'm, and I'm doing that, you know what I'm saying? And that's what I, I think. I got you, okay. And I do think it's the social media mm -hmm. um, I even got the term for you also. It's like, they the T.I. and Tidy of you. Ah! Ah! That's what that's what. But they actually, like, yeah. swingers, though, right? So we, we want to show Before that, uh, yeah, let me tell you, I love me some T.I. because him and Wet really awesome, intelligent, well-spoken men that care about their kids. But uh, they, I heard that they dibble and dabble, and I can't say the same. But anyhow, I want to just piggyback off him saying, like, uh, when he posts certain women, because everybody know me, know I love Bernice. I love, it's not just that she's gorgeous at her age. She has a grandkid. She has an adult kid. I just respect her whole everything. She's just, I love her as a woman. You know what I mean? Uh, but I do want to say that, uh, like he said, I think that people think because he might post her, and then I'm okay with him posting her that that makes yeah. us. What my main thing with life is you couldn't think that your husband, my daddy, your uncle is, is not gonna find another woman attractive. You know what I mean? And, and I'm just thankful that he opened, I've opened that door for him to talk to me about it because if you make a man feel like he's supposed to live in a bubble, we're not thinking realistic. You know what I mean? So that's my theory of it. I want him to roll over and be able to say, look at this. Looks like a uh, one time I had on something and it reminded him of something. Charlie uh, or Timmy, whatever her name is, Walker's wife, and uh, he tagged her in my post. Like, look, she got on something similar to what you got on. But and we just laugh about it. But I'm like I said, it's deeper for us. It's just like you cannot. I've been in a relationship where I thought that I thought you better not look at her. You better not do. And that's just not realistically thinking. You can't make a man feel so closed in and think that y'all gonna. You know. I think too, like with this show, a lot of you all have broke the stereotypes of what a husband and wife exactly. is supposed to be. Mm -hmm. And I think too, it comes with being secure in yourself. Exactly. Um, being that I, I know that's my husband, we made those vows. So, you know, I'm, you might think Morris Chestnut or T.I. Whoever is fine. Mm -hmm. and, and that's okay. Oh, because I sure mean too. Yeah. 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 <laughs> so, first of all, let's clap it up for that for breaking the traditional stigma. Of what has to be done. And Keith, I know you may have experienced some of this too as well, with people thinking um, that, oh, you shouldn't be dancing and you're a married woman. How do you address that? Um, long as my husband's fine with it, I can not fuck with nobody else. Like, like, really. I mean, I got an older daughter. I really don't put her on. She's real shy. She really, she's 17 and she always said, Mom, 
do it. Like you make you do what I do what I'm supposed to do at home. I handle my business, I work, um, you know, but I still do shit on the side and it, it pays the bills. So as long as they them two right there is okay, I'm okay. And I will say that. Just like Wes said with us having four kids, like um, that, okay, first of all, my highest compliment was him asking me to marry him. Mm -hmm. But then on top of that, us being together so long and our kids being older, them admiring our relationship means the world to me. You know what I mean? Even like, we, you know, we don't have kids together and it's like, if my kids and his kids both admire me as a woman and him as a man and us as a couple, that means everything to me. So it's like, why would I care what anybody else? My daughter always says, mama, y'all are girls. Y'all yeah. are girls. <laughs> And I want to switch gears a little bit. Um, during this season, you know, it was tough for you all. Um, mm -hmm. You had a lot of loss during mm -hmm. the season, um, and your spirit still remained very strong and still dedicated. And you're here today, um, just two weeks ago, um, you lost your auntie. Mm -hmm. um, and I just want to ask, how are you all? One step at a time. I mean, that's all I can do. Mm -hmm. um, I'm doing okay, but one day at a time. Oh. And is there anything you want to say to your, your, your loved ones that you lost? Um, um, no, I just, you know, um, you always feel like you don't have enough time with no anybody. Mm -hmm. And it's just like, just, just tell your people that you love them. That's all. Just leave all the petty stuff behind. Whatever you're mad at somebody about is how wash. Because you never know. We love you, Rihanna. I would, I would like to thank the wise group, too, because I know Rihanna's leaning on them, too, and they, they've all been there for So I appreciate that. Mm -hmm. I know this was actually a second loss for her, right? Third. 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 Um, actually, fourth, because it was like 2019, I lost uh, my little brother. Um, and then my sister's longtime boyfriend of 17 years was murdered September 1st, 2020. And then my father um, unexpectedly passed away September 24th, 2020. And then my Aunt Bess, July 23rd. Two days before her 60th birthday. Um, no, I lost uh, my brother. Okay. And um, the same month, my father passed away. Okay. Okay. So that's a lot to kind of take. Yeah. I got you. Good. Yeah, she's having a little bit of a moment. One, um, thank you all for being so open, uh, bringing our marriages to our, our lives, to the TV screen, your issues, your problems, your grief. We just, we just appreciate you all. <laughs> you all may not know, but it may be another couple out there, another marriage. They may be going through the same thing. Um, we know grief is really hard. We know criticism of what you do in your daily lives is hard, but you all have decided to still bring that. And as far as the other wives who are not up here right now as well has brought that. So we just want to say we thank you all for that. Uh, and this concludes our portion with the husbands. Next up, it'll be the final set of Wives of Louisville reunion show. We got a little surprise for you. <laughs> Welcome back to the final part of Wives of Louisville reunion show. I'm your host, Shayna. And before we get into this, we definitely have a treat for the Wives of Louisville, um, brought to you by the Color Art Gallery. We want to present to you this beautiful painting of the wives. If we could reveal that. Yeah, 
have more. <laughs> we have to discuss. So let's go ahead and sip this tea and get on into it. Um, so we definitely just wrapped up the part where we spoke with some of the wives and the husbands. Um, but a few of the wives were not on the set. So we definitely just want to talk to those who wasn't. Um, Chastity, your husband, been a photographer and things like that. And he would be here if he could. Right. But, you know, he got to bring home that bread. That's right. He's working right now. <laughs> <laughs> but we definitely want to talk a little bit about it because your husband at one point did a photo shoot of Keith, mm -hmm. a new one. Mm -hmm. So how is that with your husband filming doing nude photography and being one of your your, your sisters? One of your I know. Right now, we're really cl we're cool, close sisters. Mm -hmm. Back then... Cause this was years before we even started the group that he oh, did this uh, photo yeah, shoot. I think I was thinking yeah, oh, and um, I didn't think even anything of it, but I would like to express and say to other women and kids, well, not kids, I'm sorry, <laughs> other women and um, people who are in relationships when it comes to something like this. This took growth. This took years of us building a strong relationship and going through some things to where he's comfortable with things that I do and vice versa, I'm comfortable and okay with things that he does. So, it's bringing bread in the house, and I know I got a strong, faithful husband, you know, confidant. I'm not tripping on that, like, get your mouth. <laughs> and if she look good, I'ma tell you, hey, she look good, that's cute. Post that, send that to her. <laughs> My husband was there too, so. We're in her husband yeah. was there too. Yeah. Right, yeah. right. Yeah. So, I think we have footage of, of that, and if we could get these lights. And not one of the ugly. You was cute, girl. You can always call the wets or Trey now because Trey always, before all of this, like I knew Trey because he used to take my pictures. He's like, I always did. Before I was dancing, I did modeling and stuff. I did uh, tattoo magazines. I've did uh, magazines in Indiana where they uh, do just like, um, I guess, history stuff. You know, I would work, I would just do like di different crazy stuff for these people. But he would, like, when it came time to my husband turn me on him to doing this sexy stuff, I'm a shy person. Oh, I'm a whole wife, yeah. <laughs> but now that you know Chastity, because like you said, it was years before, like, was it any weird energy? Or was just like, oh, what's up? You have to be oh, no. Never. <laughs> I remember one time we was on Facebook and Trace did somebody eat some noodles. And I was like, man, I love noodles too. She was like, and? I looked at my husband, I'm like, who is this? I was like, I was like, just tell me. I was like, that's that look. Right. <laughs> but like I said, it takes good. But no, she's talking I love about her. Years, yeah, so she's sweet. being comfortable with that. Because I don't know how other people are, but me, it took some time to of be course. okay and comfortable with that. But I will let you know what made me even more comfortable. I think it makes the women who he's. Um, taking pictures of more comfortable exactly. with I'm okay with it yeah. Yeah. and comfortable with it or if I come to the shoot or you know to help them feel comfortable I think that helps and that made me feel even better mm -hmm. that they cool okay they cool we cool we cool like, y'all cool <laughs> like so now y'all can agree y'all both like noodles you don't gotta be like mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> and they're not beef <laughs> 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 John, chili chili that's what I'm saying okay Kelly we want to definitely um, switch over to you because your husband also you and your husband was not able to take part in the, the husband's part but um, if you watch the show her, her husband was incarcerated who is now free <laughs> so let's talk about life with him being incarcerated how, how was that life was different you know I had to hustle harder I didn't have where I could just say hey this is due or I spent a lot of my time on the road going to see him. I spent a lot of my time in a visiting room. I spent a lot of my time on phone calls while at work, while at daycare, wherever I was, I spent a lot of time focusing on him. And how long was he incarcerated? Like how long did he you? Was, he was incarcerated for four years. And during that time, honey, a woman got a knee, need to be touched. <laughs> <laughs> That's what my mama say, touch. <laughs> <laughs> And so how was that? I mean, I mean, let's be, you know, let's be real. Did you, you know, you have to do what you had to do? How was that conversation? I, mean, I had a girlfriend while he was incarcerated. He was so excited. He was like, Woo! I was like, no, this is for me, baby, not for you. <laughs> so a full on girlfriend, like you and this girlfriend was exclusive. Like, it was just y'all. Yeah. Like, and how did that have you always had that feeling when you kind of like, like, girl, like, I didn't know how this came No. Out. No, I, I, I didn't even know I liked girls. I didn't even know a lot. You know, some people 
they don't know what they like until it's in front of their face. Yeah. And then this person, I became vulnerable at the time that he was gone. But I discussed it with him before it happened, and he was like, woo! He was so excited. He was like, man, this is about to pass. And I'm like, all right. You're incarcerated. <laughs> no, it's just me. I'm, I'm asking you, you know, to be open with me. What do you feel about it? And he was like, go for it. I feel like I, I would rather you do that than go out here and fuck different niggas or whatever the case is. Yeah. I'd rather you do that. So I did it. All right. And we definitely got a clip of. We clap that up. <laughs> Um, we have a we have a clip of Kelly, you know, during this time where her husband was incarcerated. You must have bought somebody's plate. I thought y'all only had ten. Yeah, I did. I bought like two of them. I bought both like two of them. Dude, you better not be coming home fat. I ain't gonna accept you fat. I don't care what's going on. <laughs> I'm telling you, man, I'm telling you, my body's in playground. <laughs> I, I got that bedroom body. I come out my shirt, so I'm like, damn. I ain't gonna be saying that. that. Yeah, for real, I'm like that, baby. I work out every day. That little shit ain't nothing. I work that out soon. I ain't that shit. Steve, we're hard here. Yeah. Oh, I'm a whole bunch of white girls. Yeah. Talked about at one point, you was at a dark place. Mm -hmm. You were even gothic at one point. Mm -hmm. Was this during the point where you was letting outsiders feed into you and you really didn't know who you was? You had lost your 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 children's father, you know, you with this man, and you was just telling me how you was in a dark place. Was that, you know, carried over into the beginning of you all's relationship? No, if anybody know me, then I, um, I take care of my grandparents as well. So uh, my grandmother's leg had just got cut off, my child's father had just died, and I was like, Ain't no way I'm about to sit here and, you know, commit to Jesus. And I just had all these people around me that were so negative. I was in the streets at the time. And I was doing a lot of bad things that, you know, was going to send me to prison for 15 years. Mm -hmm. And um, my husband, he came literally out of nowhere and was like, she ain't do it. I love her. I did it. He didn't even know me that well. And he was like, I loved you before you even loved you. And I'm gonna continue to love you. You're not going to jail. You're gonna take care of these babies. I'm gonna go to jail and I'm gonna do the time. But it didn't pan out that way. And so, uh, yeah, I became gothic and I was in a dark place. I was depressed. Because people around you feel like because you got money and you hustling and you getting all this, that you're happy. But money does not equate to happiness. Mm -hmm. Loyalty does. I, I genuinely feel like like that, uh, I genuinely feel like that loyalty equates to happiness. Mm -hmm. And now that I got that loyalty, I'm, I feel like I'm on top of the world. That's what's up. And we have a, a clip of Kelly explaining like the dark time that she went through, um, when she was gothic and when she was having a hard time. Do we have that clip up? I did lose uh, my children's father, but it's been nine years. I was gothic at the time. So I was kind of lost on what I believed in. Oh, I'm a whole life, yeah. You're at peace that you, you know, are in love with yourself and as well as your man, but you, you felt that, that new energy and that, that confidence and that happiness where you don't got to be crazy Kelly. I'm at the peak of everything from my career, my career to my, my marriage, my motherhood. I'm the most happiest I've ever been. And my grandmother's on her deathbed right now. She, we don't know when it's gonna be the day, but she's even happy. She's like, Misha, I'm so proud of you. Uh, you know, you've committed to something that you believe in. And, and if I go today, I know that you're, you're safe and you're secure. So that's where I'm at now. Mm -hmm. Kelly, thank you for sharing that and opening that part. That's why I wanted you right here. I needed a little. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, what do I do? What's on my question? We just, we just, we have, we have watched your growth through the season. We definitely wanted to talk about that. Um, but it's time to, you know, address the elephant in the room. You know, Shane is currently on the couch, resident hosting, and we have an empty couch. So before we dive into that, we want to show a never, never seen. It's actually the final episode of Wise and Google that we're airing before this reunion, and nobody has seen it except probably the producers and the people that was in it. But can we go ahead and roll the final episode before the reunion? Yes, ma'am. Hi, 
Shane. Hey, How are you? Doing good. How are you? Um, okay. You sure? <laughs> um, Shane, I'm frustrated and I need you. Oh, shit. Now, okay, so, <laughs> you need me. What's your happening? But I gotta give up. I mean, it's not horrible. We talked about it a little bit. You know, with you coming on the show and... It's club. I know you don't want to... I know you're not a wives of Louisville. I know this. I need you for my club, though. I need you. What we talking about? Like, I mean, what's wrong with this? I mean, y'all not... What's happening? I thought y'all was getting things together and y'all had y'all meeting and stuff. And I thought so, too. <laughs> <laughs> it's not nothing's really changed since then and and I don't really want to move on like this you know I've put so much into it and I'm not getting a lot back I'm getting some people half in half out and I just don't want to move forward like it and I know that you'll help me with keeping things structured keeping people in line and helping me know when somebody's in and when they because you know I give somebody a thousand chances yeah, that's part of the problem. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I mean, okay, I, I help out whatever I can do. I mean, now, it means you might have to maybe possibly let some of these ladies go. I don't know. Like, I mean, listen, I mean, whoever hasn't been showing up, if they still not showing up, if you said something like that before, so they still not showing up. Come on. I don't know. I mean, it ain't, it's like, how is the tree or the plant going to grow if you keep on leaving these bad pieces of fruit leaves and you ain't pruning that thing? I agree. See why I need you? See? No, I don't. Because <laughs> you're going to help me see the good, the bad, and the ugly and, and help me understand when it's time to just move on. Well, I think I think you know what's time to do. We just gonna confirm it together. Like we're gonna, gonna let you pray it first. And then like, you know, I'm not saying no names because you can mess around and have the bad time that Shane said, you know. <laughs> well, it's it's nothing personal. I know, I know. I mean like you just want the club to be a certain thing. I mean, so I mean if they want the club to be that, then you gotta make sure those women are a part of the club and these investment chicks that is doing this just to be a part of something that's hot. Then maybe I should put on the same man. Do some, you know, go a different direction. I agree. And then at the end of the day, hopefully, if y'all really got some friendship, this should like, maybe they'll come in. You know, they're going to actually join the club and not just the, the show. Right. I agree. I mean, like I told you before, I, I take some blame in so much filming and not so much club. But when we had the meeting, I just knew that we would be okay with more club. And I really wasn't getting it. Still ain't, so. Well, I think once you decide to let these ladies know who's going to stay and who's going to go, and I think the people that are going to stay, they know they're going to stay. They've been, they've been, they've been clubbing the whole thing. Not, <laughs> Not clubbing. <laughs> club. So, I mean, I, I, I'll help you as best I can. Like I said, I'm not trying to be in that club at all. You will help me. I'll help you out by it. How about I can be like it? Well, that you know that that's already what you offer me. You help me with with that already. So that's right. We'll work it out. We'll we'll work it out. We'll work it out. All right. Okay. So we good. Just let me know what you need. I mean, okay. I'll help you as best I can. Okay, Shane. Thank All you. Right. You will. All right. Bye. Bye. So no. This is so stressful. Oh, I'm a whole wife, yeah. Um, so Shane, what, you didn't even answer the question. Listen, okay, listen, okay. When I came into the show, or the club, I should say, <laughs> I was here to like make sure things moved in order. Like, yes, I yeah. was the, the, I mean, the production coordinator. That's yeah. what I was here to do. Like, I got on. He's nerves, like calling her. She came to the day one. What I said. Right. Who is what she said. Is it like, it, it might she be. Was, who is this? Like this. I said, this, I found out your government name yeah, when I called you. So you were, you found out what? Who is this? But I mean, <laughs> so I, I'm, I'm, I've been a part of this as far as keeping things in order. 
But then as time went on, my role kind of changed. Mm -hmm. um, but I think that Tanisha, we've had a, a good bond from Jump Street, and she knows that I like I like things to be in decency and in order. Like I like mm -hmm. they, like if we if we if we a club and y'all club and act like the club. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? If y'all do do club things, you know what I'm saying? So I think that that is something that she kind of wanted me to try to be a part of. Um, I guess like at least drop my gym off and then y'all do with it what y'all want because I didn't say it and I said it again. I'm not a wife. <laughs> 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 Yeah. But I'm here, but I'm here, but I'm here, but I'm here. I mean, because I think at the end of the day, I like what she's doing. I like the vibe of, of, men, of, of having women come together, married women come together, and y'all can vibe and y'all can have some type of relationship and a bond that exists outside of what you all normally do. I think it's beautiful. So why not keep it going? But um, how I can be a part of making it happen? I'm here. So, like I said, whether that means, you know, some we lose some wise, we gain some wise, whatever that looks like, I'm here for that. So, that's, that's kind of where I'll be. Well, we do have some new additions to the to the couch, and I know a lot of the wives was like, what's going on? Why am I scooping <laughs> over? Um, so, I would like to introduce you ladies, and I have Quito Robinson. Dahlia Scott. Dahlia. Dahlia, I'm sorry, Scott. <laughs> Stacy Williams. Williams. Yes. And then Portia West. So at this at this moment, I have been informed by the producers that this is who's joining the cast oh. of Wise. Oh. <laughs> Hello. Welcome. 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 Um, so does anybody, well one, the wives, the, how do you all feel? I'm I feel it. great. Now, <laughs> yeah, she's been, I, I give a bar class and she's been employing my bartenders. Oh, yeah. So what's up? <laughs> I'm excited for that. I'm actually honored. I'm honored to be a part of the cast and today kind of justifies um, the order of operation. Um, how legit it is, how clean it is, how polished it is, um, and I'm honored to be a part of it to bring um, not only awareness of um, the aspect of a wife, um, the aspect of mothers, entrepreneurs, and um, new addition, each wife, they have their own story that we'll dive into in the next season. But um, I'm glad, I'm excited for it as far as Shane. Um, and let's just go down the line. Chastity, will you be returning for season two? Oh, definitely. Mm -hmm. okay. <laughs> <laughs> Diana? Yep. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Kelly? I'll be back. Yeah. Tanisha? I don't know. I mean, you can't leave. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. 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 <laughs> all right, so I do have a question I want to ask all the wives since we're out here. Um, just to dive into this outside of the, the show. You ladies are a club. Like mm -hmm. this is, you know, this is a, an organization of sorts. You know what I mean? Um, are you all going to kind of take that up and hold that up as something that we're going to hold each other up accountable for? So that we can make this club. I think this club is actually bigger than you all are. Yeah, you know what I mean? Oh, yeah. It's you all, but I think it's bigger. Oh, yeah. And it's going to send a message out to other wives. Are you all really down for what they can be? I mean, each of you. Do you really think that's something you want to do? Well, my husband also, he, he holds me to a higher standard, period. And I hate to admit it. But he said that I was really, really dramatic and aggressive with season one. And that um, <laughs> I'm not used to having real friends. And he said, someone telling you that you look fine, they may have really thought that you looked fine. Mm -hmm. You didn't like the way you look because that's your attitude. He said, don't be the negative Nancy in the room. You know, be the positive fam. And so this season, I look forward 
to being with, you know, my sisters. It's a sisterhood. It's the club. And do we feel like we can communicate more? Yeah, I do. And, and, Him yeah. reading the messages, he's like, they were communicating. You weren't. Yeah. <laughs> you were stuck in your way. <laughs> I mean, and having new voices to add to the conversation may also add a greater dynamic. I can't wait to learn Absolutely. from y'all. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And, then, and then the time when this, we love you, but. <laughs> no, let me tell you this. Y'all already tell me an hour early. <laughs> we did tell you an hour early. <laughs> tell me the time I'm supposed to be there. Tell me that it's an hour I'm going to tell you this. I was an hour late to my, my wedding. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm always late. That's just me. Kids, you're going to be late to your own funeral. I, I, I tell my friends all the time, well, everybody's sitting there crying with me and like, because that's just me. I'm, I'm sorry. Well, we will give you your flowers on the, the first world. episode. She was. She was she the was first. And she was talking about me. Yes, she was. The whole she idea was, okay, we know kids are going to be late, so who, who was there? Yeah. <laughs> he was calling her. She was So we thought for the season that was going to carry on. And it did. <laughs> <laughs> to an extent. So maybe, maybe that could be something y'all talk about meeting. Well, I'm going to tell you, I mean, if y'all don't like it, I mean, y'all have to put me on there, but I'm going to be late. That's just me. That's, that's what I, I mean, that's just me. watching I'm, each episode yeah, of I mean, the first I'm sorry. season. That's what I've loved about um, watching the uh, episodes of each, uh, the first season, is that it's it's realistic. Yeah. You know what and, I mean? It's realistic. Go and ahead. meet her where she is. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. She said, tell her I was so forehead. I knew it was my sister. If we got to be there at 6, I'm telling her 5, 4, 30. We do. We got to go three days ahead of time. Yeah. It's, no, it's, no, it's, no, it's, we we ain't talking about the time to be there. Yeah, we all got like, like, understood. Yeah. No, we today we told you two TV. hours early. Today we did. No, I haven't talked to nobody. I heard it was at 6 o'clock. See, we're, I ain't talked to none of y'all. No, we ain't got the, the, the group message. The group message. I ain't been in that group message. Well, then <laughs> if we that's, that's, the, that's the number one problem. And that's I where mean, I, I, it's, I'm going to yeah. say this. I mean, because it's really been a struggle for my home, for my husband, for my kids. Like it's deeper. But you than don't the have club. no little kids. Y'all, it's just y'all. So Every, get that understood. I no, worry. no, no, no. You, I you got your struggles, I, I, and I, I have mine. Way. I mean, I'm just saying. Nobody's struggles kids. outweighs no others. That's right. So it that's true. Because I don't even speak about my struggles. You know why? Because I'm constantly checking on everybody. Nobody knows what I'm going through. Nobody. Me either. My husband. Um, so I'm not going to criticize your struggles, hers, or hers, because nobody's outweighs the others, and I'm not going to cry. But we all know things. <laughs> yes, you are. We do. Um, <laughs> It's been a rough year for my husband, especially, mm-hmm. and my family. We've dished out thousands of dollars for this project, and I'm not blaming anybody because I, I, we wanted to do this, but we wanted people that, that was in it to want to do it. Mm-hmm. So we dished out thousands of dollars. We sent off a kid to college. He's got a kid that's not even here with us in college. He's sick. Like, he never even brings it up, but he's like sick, mm-hmm. sick. Like. I ain't even gonna go into it sick. And so he could be in, in the hospital, nobody ever knows, making calls, nephew can vouch. I mean, working with several different projects. So to, to criticize my struggles with yours is just not fair because you just never it's know the, when I'm definitely not with. criticism, but I'm so, saying you saying you, you got time and all of this. I, I, I know I have time like that. No, time. We've given up our birthday, our whole birthday to do this. Why? Because we wanted to do it. So I'm not talking about time because I'd be late. But when I want to do something and when I'm all in, I make an effort to get there. If I'm five minutes late, if I'm 10, I'm not going to be two hours late and then walk in and not be apologetic about it. So that's my only thing. So, and I'm not going to say you do have small kids. You do. But at the same time, we deal with things daily like that. We're still trying to figure out to this day. We all do, but, but let I me don't speak to y'all about it. I already told y'all. About I, it. I just so said I don't. It sounds like it sounds like to me though, like these are these are things that, that are should like be in club. Mm-hmm. This is what makes exactly. it. But, but we can't. You just like this right. was why I start speaking because you yeah. said well, I didn't know what time. I don't pay that group message no attention. That's not fair. No, I didn't say that. I said I didn't see no group message, right. and it did not say nothing about no time. And the only way I knew about the time was from somebody who's coming here. So I thought, from my understanding, so it was at four, four, five. I think fair. I think fair because fair kept me from seeing stuff a long, a lot of time. But here's what we do. We, we can do it. We, we've addressed, we've addressed sure. the issue that we've had. Now you got a unique opportunity. And now you we can fix it. it. You can fix it, it can from here. Like, but that's up to you. And I think that's the choice you got today. You can do something about it now. You know what the issue is. There's a break in communication. How do we fix it? And Make sure forward. that she don't miss nothing now. That'll be the end of that. And then from there, if you're getting the communication, and then 
you're just not responding. It's a whole other issue. But we're gonna let we're gonna fix the problem of making sure that from here on out, if that's the communication you need to receive, you'll get it. Like that's done. So on season two, we'll address this in the wives club, our new wives, and our what should we shame. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll see you on our season mentor. two. And thank you for joining us for the Wives of Louisville Reunion Season 1. Thank you.